Uh, simply a great hockey game. Uh, two very structured teams. Uh, I think the first period was a little feeling out. I thought we had the one two on one, probably the one grade A chance. Uh, but, I mean, I've kept been preaching to our guys down the stretch here in the last six, seven games. This is what playoff hockey is going to be like. And of all the games, this really felt like a playoff game. Uh, that is the league's best over there uh, by record and I think uh, how they play too. So it was a great test for us. I thought we handled it very well. And to look up at one time with like four or five minutes left in the game, shots are 20 apiece. The score is 1-1. If we graded out the chances for and against, I guarantee they probably be about seven or eight at piece. Uh, just a great hockey game. It, it truly was a great game, and I thought the game took on a lot of different identities. As you mentioned, a little bit different at the start, uh, maybe a little bit more physical than we thought it might be. Uh, but the game, just both teams were in, in different modes throughout. The finish of the game, so up tempo. Uh, on the bench, what, what are you telling your guys in that situation? Stay composed. Even early on, it didn't have to be said. Even though it's game 62, this was a big game. Just look at the standings. And I told guys, you come to Toledo, you're going to play big games late in the season. And this was a big game. So it had a little bit of that tense feeling to it. And then obviously got a little rough. I thought Joe made a great hit in the neutral zone. I, I appreciate that they took offense to it. And it kind of elevated things a little bit. Uh, and then just, you know we got a little upset at non-calls, a little upset at some calls where, hey, guys, stay composed throughout. We talk about being poised and mentally strong. And they did that and earned an extra point. Yeah, and on, on, that, on that note, Dirk, I thought the, you know, I know Marquardt scored the great one-time power play goal, but the penalty kill was pretty strong throughout. Very good. And there, there's nights where our penalty kill goes perfect on the night, and it's not great. It's not structured. Maybe the goalie comes up big for us. Tonight, it was very structured. And we've got some some of our top guys. You know, Leo's a, a top penalty kill, so we got some guys out. Uh, it's been us all year. Next guy up, Raj was great on the kill today. Uh, Holmstrom and Hirschfeld have been great all year. Uh, we were very structured at it. And special teams have been key for us all year. We're really good in the penalty kill tonight. Got the key power play goal and uh, two more points for the home team. Yeah, and uh, one uh, thought on the, uh, the goaltending, Jeff Lurg, you mentioned sometimes on the penalty kill, your goalie's got to be really good. I thought he was strong throughout the game. He, he's excellent. And again, uh, since he came back from Grand Rapids, he looked like the confident Jeff Lurg, the one that's, you know, won 25, 26 games, and, and he had that look to him. When he has that look, our guys play with such a confidence, and that was the case tonight. And just last question here, what does this, this type of win in this atmosphere against a great team, mindset, what does it mean to the team? It's just good going forward. We'll, we'll treat like every other game, we'll, we'll move right on, and we've done a good job doing that, and that's why we're standing where we are. Uh, but it's going to be good to tap into an experience like this come playoff time, come game seven, come game six on the road, some things like that. Great experience for us. You know, Derek, thanks for joining us and congrats again. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, some unbelievable thoughts there <laughs> from, from Coach there. Just the uh, tremendous game, the atmosphere, and, and really what it means to this team moving forward. Boy, yeah, uh, he was certainly spot on it all night long. Scott, this was a playoff game. We felt it up here in the broadcast booth the whole time, didn't we? Yeah, we certainly did. I think the same feeling. I mean, you, you still just have a really good feeling about what took place today. It was just a, uh, a game, once again, I, I thought had a, a lot of different features to it, took on different identities. But as, as Coach Lon talked about, uh, staying composed and making the plays and earning the extra point in, in a great, great atmosphere. Yeah, it really was here at the Huntington Center, a standing room only crowd, again, of over 7,800, the 12th sellout of the year, tying the walleye record set back in 2009, 2010. We have more to come from here at the Huntington Center. Don't go anywhere. That was A.J. Jenks, who scored the fifth shooter of the shootout for Toledo that gave them the victory, 2-1. to one. That fan 
uh, talking about it probably right now. I've got his jersey on. And he scored the uh, game winner in a shootout. Toledo 2-1 final. Matt Melzack, Scott Pollock back with you. And Scott, as we take a look at the highlights in this game, we're not going to show you a ton of offense. I think that's what Coach was just talking about. I mean, 20 shots apiece late in the third period, maybe six, seven, maybe eight scoring chances apiece. I mean, it was that kind of a game today. Yeah, it certainly was. It, it, it took on everything, and I'll tell you what, there were chances to be had. There was the, the, talk, the hit we talked about, the setting the tone, and obviously from, from their standpoint, take exception, and it kind of raised the tempo early in the game. They maybe changed dynamic a little bit, but the game really settled in after that. Yeah, it certainly did. Here's the, the fight from earlier in the game with uh, Jared Nightingale. And then you saw it just kept going. I mean, this this looked like a couple of teams that had seen each other for the fifth time in a row. Yeah, there was there was a lot of physical contact the, the early part of the game, and eventually then this, a lot of skill took over. We see there, and that was Bird, who was so strong all game long for them. And into the second period, again, chances were coming. Just couldn't quite get over the line there. You see some terrific speed through the neutral zone, chances coming, chances coming. Eventually it was going to take the power play and the shots that just came off the Shane Sims blast rebound. Here's Hirschfeld, can't quite get it. It's going to land up on a red hot Birchbeck. He buries it. Yeah, he certainly did. Power play goal for Toledo. They led 1-0 going to the third period. We told you they've only lost once all year and once in overtime when they've had the lead going to the third period. And it would take that snipe shot there from Marquardt to even the game for Florida. Yeah, what a terrific uh, shot by Mark Ward. He got everything in that one time. Toledo doing a great job in the PK. He was able to just finish that off, but Toledo could bounce right back with some terrific chances to try to end us in regulation. And Ginn, a young netminder, he was solid at that end as well. Yeah, certainly did. You got to credit Matt Ginn, only his third professional start. And then there was that one you wanted a <laughs> penalty call on. Scott, it made the highlights there. Well, but <laughs> Yeah, you know, if it goes one way, you want to see it the yep. other way, and it just didn't happen in that situation. The shootout, Mark Quark got things started on a positive note for Florida as he buries it off the post. A great response from Barnes going forehand to backhand, finish that off. And then Jeff Lur gets in position, goes off the pipe, and A.J. Jenks, the winner between the wickets of Ginn, big game winner for Walleye. And the celebration started there on the Toledo Walleye bench as they were ecstatic, coming away with the two points against Florida. They go five for five in this five game week. It started back on Monday, Scott, and their unbeaten streak is now run to eight, seven, zero, oh, and one in their last eight games. Yeah, really impressive and to be able to do what they did against the teams they did it against and cap it off in this epic battle here tonight to get the two points. Just a really, really good streak here for the Walleye. Yeah, they are playing some good hockey right now and it started a lot in the defensive zone. 2-1 your final, we'll be right back here to the Huntington Center. 